Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 18. So we're now just a week away from the release of the first beta of iOS 18 where we'll see all the cool new features and changes that Apple has planned for this update, which according to most of the rumors and leaks will be probably the biggest update to iOS in the last few years. And we have some more reports by our very trusted source, Mark Grumman, who has let us know about some of the new features you can expect to see on iOS 18. And we're starting with the settings app. Now this right here, this is a concept that has been made for a new way for the settings app to look and of course work. This is made by Angela Libero. It has been made a long time ago, but it looks pretty nice and I wouldn't be mad at all if we get the exact same design with iOS 18. Now, according to Grumman, the new app, the new settings app of iOS 18 will feature a new UI, which will be reorganized, featuring a cleaner layout and also a way more simple way to navigate through your settings. Now you can see how cool this looks right here. If we would just had some shortcuts on the settings app at the top like this, we can go like different settings, which are some of the settings that's used the most, like the updates or your storage. That would be a really, really cool. Hopefully it will look something similar to this. Also, according to Grumman, the settings app, the new settings app on iOS 18 will also feature a much improved search. You probably know if you have used the search option on the settings app, it's actually not that good and it hasn't changed since it has been released, but with iOS 18, hopefully with the integration of AI as well, you're looking to get a much improved search section on the settings app. Now, something that has been rumored to change since iOS 15 is the control center, but we never got a report for this by Mark Grumman, and now we have one. According to Grumman, there will also be updates to the control center on iOS 18. Again, here we have another concept of what a new control center could look like, but according to Grumman, we will have updates to the control center. There will be changes on the music widget of the current control center. Also, the home controls will be updated for the control center. Hopefully, there will be an updated design as well. And as we know by now, iOS 18 will be big on AI. According to Mark Grumman, AI will be integrated on a lot of the core apps of iOS, including the Photos, the Messages app, the Notes app, and Safari as well. All these apps will have some amazing new AI features, like the Photos app, the ability for the AI to edit your photos, search improvements with AI on Safari, there will be AI features on the Messages app as well, and on the Notes app as well. And you're looking at more AI features on the Voice Memo app as well, where you will be able to transcribe your conversations and everything else. That will be really, really great. Now, of course, some of the biggest AI features that are coming to iOS 18 will be on Siri. Siri will be totally different with iOS 18, and it, of course, needed this update. According to Grumman, the new system will allow Siri to actually individually control features within applications. And this, of course, is for the first time on iOS. So you know that on iOS, Siri usually will do things outside of apps, within, within apps who actually don't have much space to work with Siri. So now Siri will be able to do things within apps. So for example, you can ask Siri to delete or forward an email, or you can have Siri edit one of your photos or summarize a meeting or move a note maybe to a different folder or notes of notes and of course all of this within the apps and these features will expand to allow multiple commands at once for example you can tell siri to write an email and send it out to someone which will be really great so for the first time siri will be able to work within your ios apps and according to grumman all these ai features that are coming to siri won't be coming all at the same time in september but some of them will arrive even late next year so with the updates of ios 18 that will come in the future and not all of them again with the initial ios 18 update 
And with this latest report by Mark Grumman, we also have some reports regarding the Messages app. The Messages app is getting some tweaks beyond AI according to Grumman, including new icons for the tab back function and also effects for individual words. You know that on the Messages app, you can add effects to like messages, but now you will be able to do that to individual words. There will be also a new UI, a new interface for the Photos app, and also a lot of different improvements on the Mail app as well. Now these are some of the new features that have been reported to come to the new iOS 18. Now we have some mixed news when it comes to iOS 18 supported devices. Lately we had a lot of reports, a lot of rumors that even the oldest devices that currently support iOS 17 will also support iOS 18. And those being of course the iPhone XR and the XS series. I know that they of course won't get all the new features of iOS 18, but it looks like at least they will be supported and of course will probably get a ton of new features. There will be maybe some expectations of course due to the chip power that it needs to actually run these new AI features, which a lot of them won't be on all devices, but it looks like Apple has decided to actually support all the same devices as iOS 17. Now, as far as the release date goes, you probably know by now it will be exactly one week from today. So it will be June 10th. Apple will hold their event. WWDC 2024 starts this day. It should start around 10 a.m. Pacific time as usual. Probably will last about an hour and 30 minutes. After that, you will be able to download iOS 18 beta 1 on your device. Now, as you probably know, with the latest changes that Apple has done to the beta updates with iOS 17, everyone will be able to actually install it. And it will be fairly easy. All you have to do is go to your settings under general software update and then go to beta updates. Right here, you can choose the dev beta and install iOS 18 right away on your device. Even though if you're trying to install it on your main device, I would suggest you maybe wait for maybe beta 2 or even the public beta before you install it because probably will have a few problems because it's a big update. Maybe the battery most likely won't be that good. So I would think twice before installing it on the daily driver. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Really excited to see iOS 18. It should be a great, great update. So make sure to go ahead and comment down below which feature are you most excited about and which is your favorite iOS 18 feature that has been reported until now. So again, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more iOS 18 videos. I'll see you on the next one.